stage. Quiet for sound. Ah! Ah! Reverence justified, baby. Power plant style. They're referring, of course, to the WCW power plant where they were enrolled. Very successful students out of the power plant. And now making quite a name for themselves in the ring. The opponents are Prince Iokea and Leroy Howard in this tag team matchup. The Prince. Did you get a good look at this, this guy's hairdo? The Prince's hairdo? Yes. It's almost like a buzz cut with a nub on the end, isn't it? Either that or a Chia Pet. Something like that. I don't know if I want to wrestle barefoot. I've never had to. Well, you know, Jimmy Snooker had, a, had a, a lot of success like that. Oh, of course. He had no money. He couldn't buy shoes. <laughs> Man's an idiot. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. It's rage of a high voltage against Prince Iokea. Well, you would certainly be vulnerable having no shoes on. No question about that. But you know, coming from the islands, they never wear shoes, so they can climb a tree in about 14 seconds. They are very agile, no question about it. Prince IOK up on top has Rage Hook. Maybe a victory roll, yes. Got him down one. He's got him. Oh. That was a great move. And a snap arm drag takedown. So the Prince showing his quickness and agility here. And the opening moments of this tag team bout here on Worldwide. Once again, fans, don't forget, fall brawl means one thing. War games, the match beyond. Two rings and clothes completely by a cage with the top on it. The ultimate battleground. We are not so sure of the teams as of this telecast. But next week, Mean Gene returns and will tell you all about the rundown, tell you who will be on the card, who will be part of War Games Sunday, September 15th. Fall brawl originating from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I hope the outsiders are in that cage. I hope the outsiders are in as well. That way we know where they are. That's right. Best thing we could do to the outsiders will be to put them in, in a cage. The outsiders and Hulk Hogan, but of course, now remember, War Games has always been four or five men. We only know of three outsiders, so I would think the speculation of the fourth or fifth man would finally come to light. We would finally find out who he is, or who they are, actually, coming up at War Games the 15th of September. I don't think they're dumb enough to make a mistake to get in there with three of them against five of any other team. That would be totally stupid. That'd be suicidal. But just the name War Games, the Outsiders, the Horsemen, Everything just smells to me of somebody's going to the hospital or to be put on the shelf permanently. Well, in the years they have had war games, we have had many men go to the hospital that night. We have had uh, separated shoulders. We have had cases of, uh, of strained neck muscles and head muscles. We've had a whiplash case, broken arms. War games is certainly the ultimate battleground, and war games is certainly an event that is not for the weak of heart. We invite you to join us. It is going to be sensational. It is all going to be Sunday, September 15th. Inside of a massive steel cage. Rage now taking the mixture of Prince Iokea here. And a full arm drag and twist applied into a top wrist lock. I'd work on that knot a little more. You I'd would. pound it down flat. On the nub. Into the ropes, up and oh. down. Rage showing great anticipation there and tremendous power. Chaos comes in with an elbow drop. These two men, products of the WCW power plant. They are in shape. They're young, they're strong, they're hungry, and they're dangerous. Put a lot of time in the gym. Obviously, tremendous athletic ability. It took the power plant to sharpen their skills. Of course, you really can't teach arrogance that much. You either have it or you don't. That's right. And you can tell when a guy's trying to be arrogant, he's not. See, Mr. Howard's making a mistake here. He's causing his uh, partner here, Mr. Chiapet, to take quite a shellacking in that corner. High Voltage certainly has had their way with this team. Chaos sends the Prince down. One, 
two, no. Where is he the prince of? I don't, I don't know about his background. I don't, I don't know if he is from the, maybe from uh, the Fiji Islands or maybe somewhere out in the Philippines, Newark. <laughs> Garden City, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. The double axe handle blow. But he is of royalty, I understand, and maybe we'll find out a little bit more about his, uh, about his background. We know he can wrestle. We know he's very quick. And the tag, and uh, we notice also here as high voltage is keeping him and Leroy Howard when Leroy's in, in their corner, the great trademark of great tag teams. Well, the Prince has been in there a long time. Yeah, he held his ground that time, and I don't know what he was doing. He turned his back on high voltage, and they clubbed him on the outside, and now Rage out to get it. Would you look at the power of Rage, those calf muscles, those thigh muscles of his, quarter Oh! And taking that right on the back, right out here outside the ring. Nothing to protect your back, your ankles. Prince better turn over his reign and make a tag, get out of there. I would think so, he needs to get Leroy Howard in, but on the other side here, we are seeing a young tag team look as sharp as any tag team we've seen in a long time. Look at this, would you? You know, the Prince, I do know, comes from a country that is 190 miles long and four feet wide. What is it, the country of banana? No, no, the, their biggest product is rope. <laughs> and the, oh, both men go down that time. That move by Prince Arkeo was out of desperation that time, but Chaos was on target with that. Well, he's going the wrong way. He's got to make that tag. Leroy Howard encouraging the Prince to get up and make the tag. He is on all fours. See, boy, Mr. Howard standing. The arm he's holding the turnbuckle with is not fully extended. He could get himself another couple inches. That's why a good manager is very important. I would have told him that. The big guy, Leroy Howard, is in, and he meets Rage of high voltage. Exchange maids on both sides, I assume, here. A fresh Leroy Howard. And Leroy with a great hip toss out of the ropes. Leroy with a right hand. Uh, Leroy Howard looking awesome here. Pick him up. Oh, oh my goodness. Clipped him from behind. Bad, bad Leroy Howard. Wow. Remember that song? Rage, it's Leroy Brown. Was the oh, name that's of Leroy song. Howard. Yeah, but oh, on top. Oh! Double team maneuver. One, two, three. So much for Leroy Howard. With the physiques on these gentlemen. They're young. Circuit breaker, baby. Can you handle what a circuit breaker got the tanks? Well, as you hear, they call that the circuit breaker. And ruckus, or make it rage, and chaos. You can call them peanut butter and jelly. It doesn't really matter. That team of high voltage, a lot of people are gonna have to open their eyes and look at this team. Look at that. Took out both of Mr. Howard's legs from behind. So young, so powerful, so strong. Graduates of the power plant, and also your winners here on Worldwide. Your winner's high voltage. Our main event is next, but this week on Worldwide, we invite you to go back.